Hello guys, it is AmenF5 here, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a new episode in the how to build a layout or a small form of layout for your HO scale model railway. Um, this is a new series I'm going to be doing on my channel, just a small thing, I'm going to be doing small scale, I'm going to have some tips and some other stuff, um, and yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, first thing, and course foremost is building your layout you need a baseboard I'm gonna be using this rather large piece of cardboard um, um, oh, sorry when you're building a layout a lot of people think you can just jump into it and go head first which can have some effects that really you don't want to lay out if you want this to be presented um, if you want your layout to be something people will actually enjoy to look at and enjoy, you have to have a plan. You have to know what you want to do. I have learned that from personal experience with this layout. Um, my personal layout, it does not look the best. It looks actually pretty bad, um, because I did not have a plan and I was just sort of winging it. Um, if you want to do a good layout properly, you need a plan. So... I have my baseboard here. The best thing I do for planning is just go out and draw what I want to do on my baseboard. All right. So, with my trains, I have a bunch of stuff, but I would really like a hopper dumping station or a way I can load off materials from my tray, tra uh, train and use them somewhere else, something like a warehouse or a factory. So I'm thinking what I might do is a um, stone refining factory of some sort. So what I'm thinking is we do a factory right here. And I'm drawing, I'm drawing hard, ah, not drawing hard, I'm drawing light um, so that when I get what I finally want, I can go over it with Sharpie, and then I'll see what I want. So I'm thinking we'll do a factory right here. I have put an F right here so I know it's factory. Um, and, of course, I need to also think about how I'm going to get the stuff in the train cars off in here, which will be our dump zone, so the factory can use it. So, put... D zone, that sounds wrong, but whatever. <laughs> um, and so I'm thinking what the fact we have ways coming out here. We have space, ballasted track, which goes along here, curves, and comes straight right here. And then we have some contraption right here, probably hand operated that controls the dumping into here. Here we'll have just fenced off either wilderness or maybe a house or something. Um, all right, so I also, cause I'm building this layout, need to think about what I have. So what I also do is the main thing that I typically don't have a lot of is track. So, got this big piece of flex track. Well, very, not very big piece of flex track here. I'm just gonna put it sort of the way I want it. So I gotta do something probably like that. And then we'd have the dump zone right here. So. Hmm. I might want to do a sort of elevated like that. I don't know. What else is that? Um, doesn't look like I have much other track. So, definitely track is going to be a finite resource when building this layout. I also need to think about a bumper right here. Um, what I'm going to do right here. And ballasting. Um, pavement, 
maybe, and what I'm doing with the factory. So we'll look into that. But that will all be in the next video. Hit the like button and subscribe um, if y'all enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, please tell me in the comments. No harm, no foul. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.